In exercise 15b of the original Office Desktop 9.3, we will be using feature construction tools. And this is an exercise that begins on page 4 or 5. When we start, our just uh, up with this um, open, and we can open an existing map and in 15b. In 15b, you see uh, a subdivision, and we'll be adding a few few plots to this existing situation. Uh, first you navigate to the first parcel site and in this first parcel site we will be adding an extension to, to an existing system development. Uh, and then we will be adding one approximately here. Go ahead and start the editor's toolbox and uh, the first thing we're doing is, is setting the snapping to start editing and go to snapping. And now we'll be snapping to the parcels that we already have. The tool that we'll be using this time is the creating a new feature because it's a feature that already exists is autocomplete polygon. And uh, go ahead and click again on the sketch tool. This time, instead of just clicking, you know, start this, we're going to be very precise on the length. We want to be parallel to this previous line, so click anywhere here on the previous line within the snap tolerance and choose parallel, meaning we want to create a line completely parallel. And you'll see no matter where I move my cursor left or right, it always stays completely parallel. And we know the distance that we want, uh, so the length of this line, is named 118, so right click is length, and type 118, and enter. Again, you see this is now Snap to a length of 118 and it's parallel to us. We want to complete it uh, quite simply by double clicking and this auto completes the polygon. And um, that's the, the first uh, the first part that we've added. Now we want to go to a second plot. We do bookmarks, second partial side. And this time we want to add a, a new. Uh, polygon by using a, a different tool because again we want to be very precise as to where this polygon is being added. So instead of using just the sketch tool, we'll be using the distance distance tool. And what you know distance distance? Well it needs to be a certain distance from this vertex and a certain distance from this vertex. You know exactly where it should be, you just don't know uh, where to put it. So what we'll do is uh, push the select that uh, vertex and press the D on your, on your keyboard. And now we need to set the distance. And the first distance that we have let's see, is 61, comma 1. So 61, comma 1, and hit enter. And this is a circle exactly 61, comma 1 feet in this example. We want to do the same thing again, so left click on this vertex, hit the D on the keyboard, but this time the distance is 119, 4, and hit enter. And you'll notice that now this distance is in two places, and left and right. We, we want one on, on the right. You can see that by the photograph that it starts here. Go ahead and let's see. Go ahead and select that. And now a red dot has appeared. Uh, I'll clip away the subdivision photo just to make it uh, more easily to see. see. Uh, we want to now go back to the sketch tool and uh, on the sketch tool. We know exactly which direction to go, uh, so I'll right click and sub direction, then also. Control A, if you like. Right click direction. And the angle we want is 73, 4. 
and this is from a uh, standard east from a positive angle of 73 comma 4. So it should be like this. Again, we cannot go left or right. This is angle of one. And uh, you guessed it, we want to set the length. We know exactly how long it should be. And then it should be 54 comma 87 in length. And now we have the length. We want to set again the second angle. So again, right click direction. And now we have a negative angle of negative 1 pi comma 7 C. Click enter. Um, so we only go in one direction. And the length this time is a length. And it's exactly 100. And seven. Okay. Now it's neat. We don't have because we know that this polygon is a is, is a rectangle, uh, and that these angles are complete uh, nine degrees from each other. What we can do is right click anywhere and click and select square and finish. There you go. So the parcel has been drawn completely to our specifications. If you want to click on subdivision, you see that this. It's nicely uh, to be printed right now. Make sure to, if you would like, close the editor bar and make sure you save, save your work so that the polygon is out. Again, uh, this is the end of chapter 15. Uh, save your work and uh, you will continue to chapter 16.